I'm very excited about this, this roster. And I, I think to take the words of MBK, this is not a roster change. This is a nuclear bomb dropped on CSGO. Good start. But JW now actually wants to go hunting a little bit here as well on towards B-Long. We'll find Taz just around the corner here as well. This might be more than he bargained nice. for. Taz is going to take his head off straight away. Snyder is actually going to allow Snacks to come down and give himself oh away God. with the flash. Everyone is flashed up and Neo at least managed to pick one out of the mix. Flush is just hanging out in stables and he indeed does need something quite special to get out of this sticky situation with his life. It's not going to be happening. He's going to be hunted down by numerous Virtus Pro members and a jumping burst from Pasha's Glock. Wasted. Look at this info from Neo though. And oh, that spray control is abysmal. Finally does get the final bullet into Flusher. Only had one left in the chamber. He's lucky to see that actually go his way. But fortunately, he has stabilized. So far, so good. Neo's managed to get himself three kills with that MAC-10 as well. So it's all cash money for him. And he's going to make his way into the drop room as well. Get himself to get another one. Flusher has been really constantly pressured by VP, and this is going to be like tilt territory if he gets his head taken off here again, and that will be one. Nice work from him. Pronax will choose to, I was going to say retreat, but he's looking like he wants to go aggressive. Pronax, what is this? Who are you? What have you done with Pronax? He leaps forward. He gets one potential second. What? Who is this man? Crazy. I think there was a player sitting close back on that stairwell. I think it might have been Shiner. Taz was waiting. Shiner in such a perfect spot as well. Look at him playing this one slow. He's going to push on the Bialy before he had time to switch weapon. He had a grenade in his hand or something. He's going to fall down. It's a couple braces of two here. And Schneider gets himself three. Got sent all over, behind, and up in front of Virtus Pro. Well, so the T-side are probably going to be throwing something fast into the face of Crims. He's been constant presence here on B Plateau. It looks like he's going to be doing the same thing again. Smokes himself. Wants to go ahead and do that one way up on the box. And oh, this is feeling filthy. He is flashed, though. Surely going to back up. But he can choose to stand vigilant. This is the most ridiculous thing. He is now a statue on Cobblestone. Now he's going to find them. That's one for Pasha. He does fall. Looking for more, but the VP side has already flooded over the B side. Crims, how did he get away with that for so long? Crims, again, going to be flashed. I think Felix has spent more time flashed on B Plateau than he has not. As we start oh. to see a little bit of success. What was that? Neo, he's going to kill himself, but it hasn't stopped VP from finding success. They have the numbers and they're extended by Snacks as he explodes. Two with the AWP and it's going to be Flusher forced to retake. He's only going to make himself his way towards doors. Makes his presence known with the flash. Yeah, that's right. Going to get the spread out on Bialy to start things off, but Taz will wait behind the statue. Flashes out. He's not going to peek and not try and capitalize on that one yet. Now I might try and get away towards Chicken Coop, but there is a little bit of a fringe on that smoke. Snacks. Got his cobblestone pit. He's ready to go. And wow, Neo, a lot of early damage done. And Pasha finishes off. Fantastic work, work from Virtus Pro. Just cutting Godsent down to size right off. And they've had to pay a very small price. Oh my lord, he's nearly got another one. He has. A couple of PT50s, a single flashbang. And it's just going to be a question of throwing their bodies towards the B site and hoping that they do find something fortunate. Very reminiscent of what Crims was doing. Not too long ago. Pasha has that smoke as well. Neo comes oh in behind as well. God. Getting himself a few kills. And that's Pasha coming in at the same time as well. Peeks down three players. Neo's hoping to establish just one of those now as well. He's going to turn that flash quickly. Snyder might be caught here as well. He does fall down there as well. Neo gets himself an AK. This might turn around. JW just around the corner. Thinks twice about peeking that one. Backs away in towards danger. And Taz no. picks up Flash. No. It's happening again. Virtus Pro going to turn it around. The Prodex gets himself too quickly. Pasha shuts down JW. Oh and my there God. it is. Virtus Pro flip it on its head yet again. Godsend. Neo to stabilize and Virtus Pro have pulled the rug out from under them. Second map will be cash if you are interested. That was Godsend's choice. Cobble was the choice of the Polish side Virtus Pro. And that's going to serve them well here as well. As Bialy just going to back away quickly since there's something quickly coming towards drop room. He's not wrong, but Neo comes through the window there from Connector, gets himself one, and now going to have to back away as Bialy does fall to the aggression from drop. Just Crimson and Flusher, and they've both been taken down so damn quickly. You blink and you miss the final round. Virtus Pro take map one. While we're getting excited I love about that, knife rounds CJW here. was thinking about running away. He turns around and the VP have just taken their hands off the keyboards. Like, no, you come to us. You yeah. come to we're us. Not, we're not playing this game, bro. We are not going to chase you. You can go ahead and show off your, your bunny hole. Look at that. They are just See, literally staring him like stop. JW probably fun. just sipping from an undisclosed energy drink now as well. New brand to be announced. <laughs> That's true, yeah. And now he's going to get... Look at that. They, they hit the... Pull the trigger and we'll work as a team. Map 2 has underway and First Blood has been drawn. Pasha beheads Flusher as his floor... His floor? His head does roll across the floor. And now look at JW, actually. He's progressing alongside Schneider. Both from drop and are going to be going for this fast mid control. It's going to be down to Taz to try and take another... Schneider's having none of it, though. Just find his his way with the Glock. And currently, though, four to three. Numbers favoring the Godsend boys and they're starting to commit towards B. I like this. Spreading, making a whole lot of noise in middle, but the bomb is safely secured and we planted thanks to Pronex. VP had to trade over on the B side and there was sp spread so thin on that part of the map actually they give control over, but Snacks gonna take some for himself in mid. Crim's trying to go for it, but Snacks trades out yet again. Now this puts it 2v2. Oh my Bialy, God. Good work into the side there. Pronex is gonna fall. Now Snyder's got no choice but to come forward. It's stand and deliver. And it's gonna be Snyder versus Snacks. Bomb is down. That is all that's working in Snyder's favor right now. He should keep his head down. Just one player. 
Just one player will emerge with three kills in this round. It's going to be Snacks. So good for VP, and they are tr they are mixing things up. This is the first time we've seen them do this. They actually send three to B, aggressively boost one up and towards vents, and then proceed to go aggressive. Well, look at that smoke. That's a CT smoke, and it enables them to have full control. Well, his friends have been smoked off, and so it does just fall to him to try and get the early pick. I'm saying that, Snacks. Come on, man. Surely Hit the not. shot. Pronax's tip of head was showing, unable to connect the necessary bullets. As well as able to trade into that one, so no real get ground gained by God sent yet. And that bomb has to go towards oh A now as well. Pasha, bit of an interesting little, uh, I guess, occurrence there as well. JW gets the better of Taz and Snacks in a position to follow up, but he's low. The flash comes out and the smoke, he's isolated on this side up against three. He needs help from truck and there it comes. Pasha was the AWP. Gets the pick up and there's Snacks going big. Gets himself a couple. From Godsent that we saw in that first map, the T side on Cobble was lacking in a big way now and Flush able to catch Taz who was not quite quick enough off the mark. Yeah, just trying to get that tight angle with the pistol. It's kind of the best bet at this point in time because there's absolutely nothing. One mag seven in with the rifles, but it's not enough. This is Snacks going for the shot on Schneider. Now, Neo was eventually forced to push forward and, and finish that kill off there as well. Had he managed to stay undetected? Onus on them to open things up here as well. Get a pistol here. Well, oh, good what? Lord, it's not going to happen. JW takes it to their noggins. I was going to say getting a pistol here Damn. would pretty much wipe away the deficit. What? Oh, hello, there's smoke there. Jesper. No, okay, fair enough. Bomb dropped down into towards A, flush now, just firing down. Lydia for the knife. Oh, realizes he may have bitten off a bit more than he can chew, but that's the only kill. The VP are going to get that round. Double digits for Godsent, and they are going to be going for the WMP and three rifles. But that's so silly. What on earth, Schneider? Given the way Godsent's been playing so far, it's definitely a little bit out of the ordinary for what we're used to seeing them there. Pasha <laughs> falls to his death, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe that was over boost. I'm not even sure. That's where Vettis Pro are going to kill you. They're going to put the knife in. So JW needs the first pick, gets it. That's the first box ticked here. He's been having some problems with this AWP battle in A main. He's not going to be taking that challenge. Instead, he does position himself accordingly. But what was that? Taz takes Pronax down and glimpses through the smoke or just a good read through the spray. But now the numbers are level and they are getting themselves onto up. And that's a tag and that's agonizing for JW. Just narrowly missing out on a free kill. And now here comes the Molotovs, here comes the pressure, here comes the flashes. He has to be doing something and he can't even lose his babysitter. No. He's burning alive. JW, the Molly, what? Schneider's the last man standing. He didn't even realize he burnt to a crisp. But now Schneider up against four, up against the wall and up against it all. Godsent are starting to lose faith. Well, I mean, it helps when you've lost four rounds back to back. They're on max loss round bonus at this point in time. And now, I mean, this situation, yes, it could be better, but it's actually not too shabby. Taz makes a difference though. That's Flusher gone and mid control gained. We know just how much Virtus Pro want that. And soon the bodies will be joining him. He can't even retrieve the AK. Oh, it's a horrible situation. And Taz has exploded. Three swift kills and just two more remain. Crimson JW clutching onto the dreams of a pro league spot. And now it will just be one. It's all onto Crims. A FAMAS and 19 points of health. This that's, is it. That's it. His last chance here as well. Virtus Pro looking to take things. Check out my brand new store on Redbubble where you can find these amazing maps in posters, stickers and t-shirts commissioned by myself and created by an amazing artist called Vintage Ninja Fish. You can find a link to my store and to the artist's website in the description below.